Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. In our final video here, we're just going to take a look at a corridor built from our super elevation that we edited in the view. So we've just got a simple assembly here with uh, it's basically an overlay lane, and then there's our six minus six percent shoulder, eight foot shoulder. So we just ran a quick corridor. So I'm going to right click on the corridor here and we're going to go to the section editor. And I'm going to change my viewport options here to a style that has labels. And we'll go up to, let's start here. And so let's just zoom to an offset and elevation. So let's take a look. So we're at uh, outside flat here at this station, 456. That is correct from the report. Our shoulder should, left should be moving. That is correct. And we'll go up to full super, which should be at 644. There we are. I'll zoom again. We're at 6.2, right shoulders went to 6.2, minus 1.8 on the high side. That's perfect. In full super at 1061. Should be at 6.2 all the way across, minus 1.8 on the high side. Perfect. And let's go to that inflection point where we had the, where we were flat on both sides that we forced that station in. That was at 1226. We should be both zero on both lanes there. 12.2608. Perfect. And then we'll go to our next full super, which was at 13.91. Should be 5.2 super. Yep, max super. Perfect. Minus 6 on the low side. Minus 1.8 on the high side. So if our super control lines are performing just as we designed them and everything looks good. So this concludes our video series on editing the super elevation view.